President Goodluck Jonathan is now set to formally declare to Nigerians his intention to seek for second term in office. Having picked the PDP nomination form, President Goodluck Jonathan is expected to formally declare his re-election bid in a few days from now. Kanu State Governor Rabbi Musa Kwankwaso has paid the sum of 27 million and 500,000 naira to pick the presidential nomination form of the Nigerian main opposition party or Progressive Congress in Abuja. While presenting the nomination form to the Governor Kwankwaso, National Chairman of the party John Oyegun said the door of the party is still open to Nigerians who desire change in the country. Amended a constitution yesterday to make it possible for any deserving son or daughter of this nation to come into our party today and be eligible tomorrow to aspire for any country. In his remark, Kano State Governor Rabbi Kwankwaso pledged on behalf of other presidential aspirants of the party to abide with the outcome of the party presidential primary slated for December 2nd, 2014. It goes to say that this aspiration is for the party, the APC, and Nigeria in general. Mr. Chairman, I want to assure you that we are going to play the game according to the rules. Our participation in this contest Certainly, is to add value to the party. Mr. Chairman, in the last couple of weeks also, when I showed interest, I cannot remember the number of people who called me directly or visited me or called me through my brothers and sisters across the country to tell me that they were ready to cross the line from other parties to our party. Mr. Chairman, Many of my friends, brothers and sisters want to come, but for some reasons they are hooked up somewhere. And it's very understandable. They are still there, physically, but in terms of spirit, and of course, even the election, Mr. Chairman, they are your members, they are our members of our party, the APC. Three presidential aspirants have earlier picked the nomination form of the party. They are General Muhammad Buhari, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, and a publisher, Dan Isaiah. From Abuja, Muywa Bamdele reporting. The executive governor of Kano State, Alahaji Rabiu Musa Kwakwanso, has said that security of lives and property remained the number one priority of his government when elected into office as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come 2015. Governor Kwakwanso said this while receiving the Nigerian Rise Award for the Ambassador of Youth Development from the management of Ben Television in Abuja. Nigeria Rise is uh, an award that is organized every year in London to honor governors, states, and uh, other ethnic nationalities that have done that uh, for this great country, Nigeria. Uh, the uh, event took place about a week, a month ago in London, and we had a lot of other governors who were around. But we have decided to bring yes to you because from popular vote, Kari State was voted number one in governance, especially in the area of uh, youth development. Sir, without much ado, I don't take the time. I present this to you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This award certainly will go a long way in making us work harder, achieve more for the people of Kano State. Today, the most important issue in this country is the issue of security. 
I believe that the issue of security is number one on the agenda of every state or country, especially now that this country is facing a very serious challenge, the challenge of insurgency. The Nigerian Arise Award Series is organized yearly to honor outstanding individuals for contribution to nation building. From Abuja, I am Festus A. Girog and FIFA. Used in the country has been advised to avoid being used as stocks in the upcoming 2015 general election. Senior Special Assistant to the President on Youth and Student Matters, Comrade Jude Emagwe, gave the advice in Abuja when various groups calling for the re-election of the country's president paid him visits. Emagwe, while speaking with the groups, reiterated that it is not about participating in the election proper by voting, but about knowing the vision of the candidate being voted for. And Nigerian young people do not just need a president. We need a leader, we need a father, we need a role model, and we need a mentor. We need people that want to give us reasons to want it to be like them. We need people that want to give us reasons to want it to appreciate our country. We need people that want to give us reasons to want it to have cause to die for our country. And above it all, we need people that want to give us reasons to understand that there are no Muslim Nigerians, there are no Christian Nigerians, neither is there a northern part of Nigeria or a southern Nigeria. What we we'll have, what we we'll continue to have, and what will be for life as we live, the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is always what our strength is, that is what we are, and that is what we will continue to be. He added that though the country may not have achieved what she wanted, but has soared higher than the past. Some of the groups seek for the removal of total subsidy from all petroleum products and call for the inclusion of youth in the president cabinet come 2015. And for Nigeria to meet the demands of where we want to be come 2020, we need an umpire to sit there as a president of this country. The time is no longer there for us to be believing in people that four decades, five decades ago have been ruling this country and have not done anything to impact positively in the life of the youth. So we have come from the 21 local government to Abuja to follow Mr. President, the one they call al Hajime in Asara, to move to Walata Plaza, under the sun, under the moon, under the star, with our 50-50 Naira note in this blood bag to acquire the form for the one and only incumbent president, good luck, Ebele Menasara Jonathan. They said the calling for the present re-election is as a result of the marks he is making in health, aviation, transport sectors, among others. From Abuja, Nigerian Federal Capital, LM Chukwemeka reports.